Hi beautiful beings of light, this is Sienna and welcome to my YouTube channel in a month of June of 2021. And uh, yeah, we are ending this uh, this month and so many things again transpiring and changing and uh, also so many things surfacing. Actually a lot of things are going on even uh, here on the surface of this planet even though many 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 more things are happening in the invisible unseen worlds and behind the scene is just it is the way it is uh, lots of dynamics right in the air in, in the atmosphere also with the um, ufo or you know our star brothers star sisters as well i mean we have their uh, their dna i mean we are the ets you know we are the extraterrestrials but it's uh, i guess hard for um um, people who are not that evolved and uh, you know that's okay i mean but with the star seeds with the uh with the galactics uh we know pretty much what is going on we can tune into those energies and they've been pretty intense <laughs> uh with the um activation and we are transitioning right now the cosmic uh cycle it's all uh renewing and yeah we are heading uh forward into the uh uh rising uh, Aquarius age and um, also the cosmic clocks have been turning that's what I was trying to say and uh, with the organic uh, timeline right and with the crisp crystal spiral going north so um, you know things are aligning um, so I'm very again thankful for all the light workers the grid workers gatekeepers who've been working on the new ascension grid uh, galactic grid so you guys uh, go ahead and uh, tune to those frequencies um, it's just very important of course through meditation in a work you know that you are aligning with the new uh, sacred geometry uh, uh, base 12 mathematics configuration not the uh, base 10 configuration those who are familiar I, I was explaining in the last uh, year in my videos but I can mention some of that stuff again so and uh, today again I was kind of asked to go again through the galactic codex and also <laughs> Um, talking about my projects uh, back in 2000 that I started back in summer 2009 I was kind of finishing it with my brochures and uh, um, PowerPoint presentations in 2012 and uh, of course January 2013 that's kind of where, where I was taken to psych word and uh, certain uh, dark entities was trying to eliminate destroy this body even through directed energy weapons right targeting my thymus that's where your higher heart is um, your um, um, energy that's the a chakra right we can talk about the chakra system as well because they have incredible information about uh, humans uh, electromagnetic field humans aura um, and the the ch whether it's the ch chakra system or uh, you call it energy centers or the meridians so uh, <laughs> for me it's just to, uh, very important to put the information out there so uh, the star seeds here, the warriors of truth, the indigo warriors can proceed with our project, with our mission, um, because it's been a lots, um, uh, lots of uh, struggle and also all these fightings in those astral planes, invisible planes for lots of humans. It's not visible. So uh, many times we are called like we are not normal or we are crazy. And, you know, what are you talking about? It's really not true. Um, but here we go. There's more and more evidence that, you know, bad guys do exist. And you can, guys, you're welcome um, to look, look at some of these, um, you know, uh, pictures of our the alien races right the gift from star that's from Elena right so even uh, very thankful for this <laughs> then when I say Draco or reptilian or when I say Ecturian uh, from the Andromeda good guys bad guys um, you know the they some of them have humanoid bodies but some of them um, you know it's uh, they have their own um, skin suit technology so you know what I'm talking about so you're welcome to uh, check out the uh, the books and so yeah so let's dive into it 
and uh, I've been working on my website just letting you know um, so the whole the service page I pretty much fill it up with uh, my um, the presentations I mean the paper that I had back in 2008 I, you're welcome to download them um, so it's uh, about you know it's just kind of inspiration how you can transform your mind from negative into positive uh, through uh, just the divine inspiration and for me yoga and Ayurveda those are sister sciences and I'm passionate about that kind of um, uh, lifestyle I would love to implement or bring um, communities that follow um, the uh, the yoga Ayurveda uh, rules and disciplines uh, of course uh, with the uh, divine law law of one right that's why we're implementing the galactic codex so our <laughs> uh star brothers star sisters you know our galactic family star family can join us and we can uh, clear the space you know heal the planet heal ourselves and ascend transcend into the next harmonic universe number two where everything about soul connection consciousness expansion so welcome welcome my youtube channel is yana sibinska you can also find me on awakening our truth youtube channel my website is yanakalai.com, Y-A-N-A-K-A-L-A-I.com. My email address is kaliyana82 at gmail.com. My videos are for educational, entertainment, uh, informational purposes. I'm here to inspire you, empower you, giving you information the way I interpret it through my soul signature, energy signature, through my filters, right? I'm sharing um, information based on my direct experience experiences and everything that I kind of uh, um, <laughs> meditated upon uh, my upgrades and downloads and revelations and how you guys then interpret what I'm sharing with you becomes your world your reality your story and what you do with it it's um, your responsibility uh, because we are very powerful co-creators with a divine right our mind is very powerful we're watching our thoughts our thought forms our feelings our emotions uh, even our deeds and actions we, we're being monitored whether bad guys good guys you know good eating bad aliens doesn't matter because we are one with the consciousness we are consciousness um, we are awareness okay uh, we are part of uh, of our creator of you know of this uh, universe okay so we're we are one with all this all all that is I am that I am and it is what it is and that's how humans were designed with with 12 strands of DNA with crystal uh, those I'm sure sorry the human angelic uh, luminous beings right and the creator of Lyra 12 strands of DNA the crystal crystalline um, heart and of course with the pulsing liquid plasma light having a direct connection to God to source very powerful uh, beings full of light and um, one in harmony with uh, what is so uh, we are those who are choosing we're returning back to innocence back to God zero point balance divine neutrality right so that's why namaste 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 so um you know you have the right side the divine masculine you have the left side divine uh, feminine and we are bringing those two polarities back into your heart your higher heart where we can everything transform transmute we are speaking our truth we are decalcifying or uh, activating our sensory um the um, extrasensory perceptions right third eye and even our crown chakra yeah the opening cleansing clearing you know through the pineal gland um that those are um antenna to those cosmic energies and so we can bring our soul energy soul matrix back online through the interstellar chakra right that's how we have div divine connections with the universe with the cosmos with all that is so uh let's uh, again dive in a little bit into that uh <laughs> um my galactic project project for the military because i was just like wondering i had everything pretty much uh <laughs> kind of ready the yoga lifestyle 
uh, uh, back, uh, you know, a decades ago, and um, you know, it, it was just not, uh, it was not successful. It was not going through, right? So I didn't know the game of the negative ones. Uh, so I know what kind of technology they are using. We had infiltration from Eleven Dimension. Those guys are actually uh, they're uh, they are coming from the Ten Dimension, but they run the reversals. They are Nephilim reversal grid, and we had to decode all that. And rewrite the entire story right uh, we had to overwrite um, their uh, reversals the reversal binary coding and so that's the the work kind of that we've been uh, doing okay uh, you know of course me the galactics the star seeds and so on like I am telling you we are doing vibrational work uh, <laughs> we come from extremely high dimensions so it's like here you know you're living your life just uh, working my part-time job going to a store uh, maybe talking to somebody but at the same time like we are working 24 7 in those higher dimensions and uh, invoking also very important invoking the violet flame of transformation transmutation right we are entering the new golden age um you know the aquarius age so and yeah we are all the um golden suns we are the suns shining bright okay this is how we were uh designed through sacred geometry okay guys we are or you know those who are on that guardian mission christos mission that's why we are being targeted and uh, there's just so many obstacles and like distortions about us and the the work that we are trying to implement and do that's why through the implementation of the galactic codex you know it's, uh, we can finally proceed and do what we came here to do you know we have a mission we have an assignment and you know there's a lots of responsibility and accountability as well but yeah we are the column of light shining bright right like i said very important invoke that violet flame of transformation change transmutation we have these beautiful uh beings from sirius right here in the um um in in the in the form of dolphins uh, uh helping us with this transition uh, as well you know some of the animals they have in incredible high uh in intelligence and you know that's their technology and uh, you know the sound right we are sound light frequency vibration so those healing centers galactic healing centers for uh, resurrecting our galactic human our angelic um, uh, luminous uh, divine blueprints right is going to be um, through the um, uh, ET, te ET technologies I mean the healing Lemurian chambers and med beds and Tekion technology and through sulfate geotones healing music you know relaxation being in nature, being in pyramids, right? The color, uh, color green is very healing for you guys as well. Very, very important. We have to transform, transmute that negative ego. You, you know, that's the, that's the programming, conditioning, the belief system, right? That's what the false matrix was kind of uh, um, encouraging us to do, not encouraging. They're, they're, they're dumbing us down and making us feel inferior and hating ourselves and being jealous and envious and uh, you know all this hatred and the split and greed and conquering and control over others that's what they do they control they want to manipulate through siphoning our energies targeting us with directed energy weapons and they think like they are free they can do it no 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 their time is up right it's all over right that there's the implementation of the galactic codex so we can finally proceed make this world a better place Right, we can heal uh, or cleanse the ocean, cleanse the atmosphere, our soil, start creating communities, 5D communities with ETs, with healing technologies, healing chambers, where uh, people can finally, you know, <laughs> resurrect their bodies and uh, very important uh, education as well again my passion is yoga meditation ayurvedic cooking so please um check out my website uh, yanakalai.com uh, on my um, uh, service page you can see um the content uh, it's underlined so when you click on it you should be able to download documents um uh, back there when i wrote 13 years ago okay so i'm still um you know for it uh, i'm resurrecting my my project for the military uh for guys um you know mc in um 
and I know what they went through, but it's, um, like I said, very sensitive topic. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not easy. It's not, uh, it is not a piece of cake. So guys, uh, also when you go on my website, yanakalai.com, you're welcome to have a written, a uh, piece of information regarding the galactic codex but also on my service page you're welcome to check it out and there's a, a beautiful it's audio and with healing music i know i got it from somebody else galactic temple and also i have the primary contract revocation from uh, universal uh, forces that space or whatever the website is so some of that stuff is actually i'm not claiming it's mine but i downloaded it i know it's from uh you know the the ground crew here you know the galactics i hope that you know like we are supporting each other right we're one in christ the uh, christo sophia um you know we are helping um inhabitants of this planet we are helping humanity and mother earth with the uh, ascension transition i mean she is multi-dimensional like we are are, right and she already ascended she's there Gaia that's the seventh dimension or Tara that's the fifth dimension right and here we have Terra um, that's the third dimension but remember we we live in all these um, uh, dimensions parallel realities right the future like you know um, like the future and the past all coming back together and we, we are living in the present moment in now and here Okay, very important to understand that and uh, just use your breath always to center yourself and bring your energies, your intention back into your heart, your higher heart. That's where your timus is, that's your eight chakra. So what is the Galactic Codex? It's a systemized code of inner ethics of all souls of light. Okay, and they are accepting it with their free will because they know it reflects their truth. So when they were these um, uh, galactic wars going on a million years ago, you know the um, well, you have the Galactic Federation or however you want to call it. Um, you know they were also cooperating with the ascended masters and uh, with the cosmic angels or co uh, solar rishis and so on. And so this is kind of what has been now uh, put down. Um, this, these are the rules and regulations that our galactic star family are following and we are implementing it here um, uh, on planet earth right? because of the occupation of the negative forces and people were mind controlled the consciousness of humanity has been hijacked and um, you know the um, now with Brittany Brittany S right she probably she'll be coming online with those SRA stuff going on in Hollywood it's called satanic ritual abuse that's what been uh what the cabal the bad ones were doing to our children uh to our teenagers guys in the military or people in hollywood or politicians <clears throat> right so this is all coming online and we need to get ready so centering yourself lo loving yourself that's how i was able to transform transmute all this darkness and negativity remember we are not only working here um you know on that personal level but uh, collectively planetarily right um interstellar a galactic cosmic levels okay so through self-love <clears throat> self-forgiveness and compassion forgiveness that's the invoke invoking the valid flame of transformation transmutation that's what helps um you know with the with the forgiveness because it's going to be very difficult for many people to forgive and understand that because the ego will keep you stuck and um kind of locked in that uh, negativity but remember you are love so through that loving energies you'll be able to resurrect your heart feelings compassion for yourself so yeah that's how you can transform transmute that negative ego and you can be of service and help others if you are choosing so okay so the law of divine grace that's part of the galactic codex um i just feel like right now or have, when was it a couple of months uh, months ago and so on it's just like i i live on grace i just love grace and forgiveness right just surrendering to what is okay i am that i am and it is what it is so um because 
um, guys, the uh, all these um, well, the hostage situation here, or all this pain and suffering. That's the programming of those negative dracos, reptilians, those nephilims, those AI Anunnaki hybrids, the sons of Belilai, right? The infiltration we had in ancient Egypt, we had the Atlantis cataclysm and the Lemurian Holocaust. We are healing all that. So it's a uh, multi-dimensional. It's um, interstellar interdimensional uh dynamics happenings uh you know he, uh, what is happening is just huge okay you cannot even describe it in one sentence because it's it's it's, it's multi uh layered okay there are many also like octaves dimensions and parallel reality so we're doing all that in that zero point balance right the zero point that's the god matrix you need to go back to uh your center right walking the middle path the yellow brick road however you guys want to call it and just be simple be humble be modest Okay, very important. You can check out my positive um, affirmations. You can find them on <clears throat> my website, yanakalai.com forward slash services and um, positive affirmations. You can click on that and um, start rewiring your subconscious mind, right? With this positive thoughts. The subconscious mind, that's how those negative ones, right? They take over your consciousness and they kind of program it. Uh, so it damages your uh, light body, your bio neurology, because that's how they control, manipulate, destroy a so-called depopulation agenda. And they think they are the gods and they're not but they think they are so you know so you just kind of instead of like fighting it and all these external stuff going on we have to process or that's what i've been doing processing everything from inside right and once you all these clicking start happening like all these you know dots putting together and you start just feeling your power again right you claim your power back you resurrect all your energies um that's uh you'll be guided you'll be guided uh by ets extraterrestrials and you will know what's the next step so anyway we sentient beings we have the right um for let me see so one of the, i'm sorry we we have the right to where am i i'm sorry oh so for physical and spiritual abundance okay so how come people are suffering they're in poverty or you know homeless homeless veterans i mean you know the military they have uh, uh these uh extremely um uh, highly evolved technology right uh how many of those guys they had to do this they had to commit a suicide um the ccp right the secret space program you know the, <laughs> the darpa and so on instead of using those technologies for destruction and for exploitation and you know control manipulation killing innocent people they can start finally using it for healing but we need the galactic codex we need the galactics to helping us but we need to uh you know everything is now happening from the inside out raise our frequency raise our frequency vibration right also good food distilled water organic food or having your own garden being on the sun being on the beach you know like smiling talking to people um like today this guy fishing you know and he was asking are you doing yoga i said well right now i'm working at the spa but uh, i used to have a yoga project for military and oh i'm a retired marine you know and then he was asking whether he's going to um get a fish out of the sea i just praise the lord praise the lord in a couple of seconds he got a fish and then i'm telling him hey listen we you know we love you guys and uh, we were, we're trying to implement some yoga yoga in a military but uh, um you know we were not able to because there are so many obstacles and those guys you know in those higher positions with their crisp technology they can they you know that's you were trading guys with grace uh with the with the um a negative ets you know just 10 dimension 11 dimension but we have 12 strands of dna you know so very important to rewrite the story you have to now decode or rewrite your dna all these um, poison that was done to those guys in the military with all these parasites and now it's being done to people who are choosing this thing you know what i'm saying it's instead of activating your dna right going uh you join us today sunday for unity meditation right being on the sun you're getting this 
you're doing the opposite. You're harming yourself and um, poisoning yourself. But again, there is a hope. If you recognize it, the galactics are here, right? They're sending the frequency of neutralization. So then the nanobots are being flushed out of the body. That's Marina Jacobi, Quantum Manifestation. She has her channelings, right? And um, start, start working on yourself from the inside out, feeling the peace within you. Okay, so we have the we have the right for abundance, physical and spiritual. We have the right for ascension. Again, check my uh, website yanakalai.com. What is ascension? The ascension symptoms, right? And uh, we are walking in those energies of love and uh, faith and trust and grace and gratitude, compassion. That's the five D protocol, guys. We have. Uh, uh, we have our star family underneath Mount Shasta, California. It's called Telos. So you can check check out this book and read how, um, you know, they live, what kind of beautiful, harmonious society they have. Yeah, and they live in harmony with nature. And yeah, they do have a priest like the Adama priest, right? You can even, you know, Google, Google, um, you know, that being and so on. And um because oh my god because they're in 5d uh we just so many people maybe don't see them it doesn't mean that they don't exist there are so many channels so many books here in the united states from 80s or 90s we are in 2021 2021 right i had my project ready 2012 2021 in mean we're changing the clock right the cosmic cycle we on organic time we're going up north Right. People thought that the, they had a compass. The compass was uh, giving them the right direction heading north. No, people were dumbed down the entire planet. Right. Um, siphoning the energy destruction. It was the downward spiral into that underworld. OK. And because I, I've been through uh, all this horrible uh, stuff, I know what I'm talking about. You know, I've done it. I've been there. The only way to get out is through Christos. Right. Christos Sophia through that core. Uh, <clears throat> through uh, that higher heart, your heart. And uh, slowly but surely, you know, the way I'm healing myself is through sound, speaking my truth. That's why I'm creating those videos. So the other right, the humans, is we are, or we are finally, um, uh, finally uh, connecting or meeting our soul family, galactic family, right? My situation, because those are military, MC, right? Good luck with that. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm meeting beautiful people, like, you know, on the beach. And, um, you know, I'm sure they're my soul sisters. I'm mean, where the work that I'm um, uh, also right now. So I'm uh, also uh, meeting beautiful souls and so on. So, um yeah, the ego needs to go. We need to really um, unite. And that's how we gain the power and we can transform and, uh, you know, make a difference. Okay, we're the change makers. You know, we are the the second coming of Christ. Christ is within us. And of course, and we are walking with Yeshua, right? By our, He's walking by our sides, you know, because, you know, he's the eternal son. He's the eternal son. Son of the um, creator one god okay so that's kind of you know my story my interpretation you guys do whatever you want to do with it so again humans have the right to all information look how much information's been uh, uh undisclosed uh, you know all these um uh, classified projects or uh, classified information especially in pentagon and military right yeah this ssp i didn't know about the um project paperclip and um you know all these corporate organizations you know that's the um uh uh, th thinking that oh this is something great and uh, the uh, the 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 great uh, the negative aliens are behind that the black sun entities right you can study or read the um, Nazism a black sun Nazism 4.0 from um, Lisa Rene I did uh, videos um, month month ago or two months ago so you can uh, check it out as well so. You guys, frequency, vibration, resonance. Sometimes even the words doesn't matter. We, that's why you mean to eject the 3D mind and just kind of go with our heart. Um, there is a brain in our heart 
thousand times i think it's five thousand times more powerful than this thing here but don't underestimate this thing here once the subconscious mind is reprogrammed and you synchronize your mind with the heart you plug yourself into the universal awareness mind of god and you're omnipresent omnipotent omniscient why would you make agreements with these 10d dracos or the, the orion group or collective yeah with their highly advanced technology that but that's for destruction the galactics the ashtar command they were here in 1950s as well right saying u.s government guys don't do that we have technology for peace for regeneration uh, renovation i mean tesla nikola tesla back there in 1894 light up the entire chicago because of the Tesla towers, right? So we need to change the um, 5G towers into Tesla towers, light it up. Our DNA can light up. And then we have the event. We're ascending, those who are choosing, following the divine law, the law of one, and living in peace, harmony, uh, Christ Sophia consciousness. So then we have the... Um, we have also right uh for freedom as well so that's the um so so that was the law of divine grace so we talk about um the you know we had the unalienable and unconditioned right to physical and spiritual ascension we have the unconditional and unalienable right uh to uh, for ascension to ascend we have the unconditional unalienable right to reunite with our soul family star family with our true family of origin uh, we have the unconditional and unalienable right for all the information. So we make the right decisions. We understand who we truly are. What is our role, right? That's why every day we're asking ourselves, who am I? Why did I come here to this planet? What is my mission? What are my gifts and talents that I can share with the world, right? For me, like the soul union is the key. So the soul connection consciousness expansion, because we are going to the next octave, Harmony Universe number two, where everything is about soul connection consciousness expansion, living in peace, unity, Christo Sophia consciousness under the law of one, the cosmic sovereign law. And of course, we have uh, the right, uh, unalienable and unconditional right for freedom. So it means to experience as much as we can here in this plane of uh, existence, right? Material, but uh, we are actually now kind of dropping all these densities, right? Activating our DNA so the 3D ego mind can be transformed, transmuted. We are looking at all the skeletons in our closet. We are healing ourselves, right? We can do it through love, you know, through forgiveness, through compassion, going deep within, meditation, yoga, being on the sun, being in nature, saying something beautiful to your neighbor, look at the flowers and so on. You know, everything is possible through Christ. Everything. Okay? And so the God is within us, you know, the divine spark is within us. Okay? Uh, we have this... Um, um, you know, this uh, spark in, in, in that eight chakra, I mean, in that sacred chamber of our heart, you know, that is, you know, it's, we have the direct connection with our spirit, but we have to um, reactivate it, reactivate it, reactivate it. And I understand some uh, people are having a hard time, not only of the negative ego, but, you know, those implant chips from those um, uh, grace and, you know, those negative aliens, you know, with the Zeta, Reticuli, the Dracos, and, you know, the negative faction and so on and um, they had very uh, aggressive technology the black cube uh, the red nile cube right the directed energy weapons i mean they psychotronic weapons um, they mess up with your dna the military the crisp technology it's the um editing software for dna that they can uh, reprogram your dna insert even false memory in your dna and then they control you manipulate you but again is it controlled uh, who, who is pushing the button uh because they have uh, in neural interface they they were hooking them to those supercomputers of those dracos reptilians in those invisible world from 10 dimension running the reversal uh the reversal nephilim grid right so it's time to kind of acknowledge that forgive yourself and connect yourself with your heart so you can connect yourself with, connect with yourself with your soul and you can join the galactic command 
okay so with the warriors of truth right we're speaking our truth we are the uh, system busters the uh well renegades right i don't uh, succumb to the draconian rules you're welcome to check out my uh credo or create how you call it the preamble for the new earth jurisdiction the way i you know i created the way i kind of um whatever i studied i put it together so so you may be inspired you don't have to like it but you're welcome to download it maybe contemplate about it see what you think um because we need to go back to the original uh, constitution um the forefathers who were connected to uh star nations the pleiadians uh, are there for, are there are forefathers are, are from the stars okay the hopis the navajo uh the buffalo um um uh was a calf uh, the white buffalo calf uh woman right the in native uh, indian tradition they know all that they are storing the 12d dna in their blue and their blueprint in their um you know in their light body um so humanity can resurrect all that stuff so we are all one you know one spirit one god one consciousness okay but there is a journey you know we're on our journey soul journey journey of healing transformation and whatever i had to go, uh, go through that was the hero's journey right we are like the prodigal son we kind of separate i said separate i mean all these things they do to to keep us separate from god from source right so you kind of go into the darkness into the underworld and so on and um, then you just kind of resurrect all these energies and you bring yourself back into your center and here you are right you're just then um, um, kind of bringing uh, more stories or truth to the akashic record so then people can heal uh, people can understand in mother nature can also you know it's part of her um kind of um mission i mean to understand to know and so on so you bring that records um into the the hall of records i mean the stories and so on and then through christ light um we can uh, pretty much transform transmute all that and bring peace right the golden age online and we're entering the new golden age the Aquarian age so it's a uh, lots of stuff lots of steps but unity very in unity in christ we can do everything remember that okay so uh and i don't know where i am right now so um the other law the law of balance and the law of intervention let me see i still have some time to talk about stuff and there's also law of split where there are kind of conflicting parties right there's a um a race that is attacking the other race so the galactic federation they have the right to intervene and they separate um separate those races kind of um, uh, so there is no harm and then when the time is right um uh, the, they are bringing the um, uh, through mediation right they kind of resolve the conflict and uh, they are introducing them to the galactic codex so and uh, so very important to end wars um not only yeah in especially uh, in this universe on this planet very important because usually it's fabricated by those negative ones people think all oh, this nation is bad and look at iran and iraq and afghanistan there were so many beautiful people innocent people in villages and they were blown up uh, right there are whistleblowers talking about the tomahawk missile so wake up wake up wake up exit the 3d matrix right i have some themes i have themes how you know we're exiting the 3d matrix and we bring the um organic uh, timeline online and we can finally um uh, bring our soul energy online our soul matrix very important so the law of balance it says that um, there are some beings that are against the principle of the galactic codex so they'll be of course um, confronted and now actually the negative forces they are some of them are resurrecting their consciousness or they start seeing the consequences of their actions and so i you know those who want to go back they should have a space and place to kind of reconcile to heal and go back to their original self to their original thinking you know most of the thinking that's why i have a problem even with my well dna family or some people and so on you guys you're th you th it's all program program we're, we're, we're your thought of pure thoughts original thoughts right we're going back to the innocence we're going back to our original self right in our heart in christos 
okay so so, so very important some people don't even know that uh, they were blindly they were hypnotized and blindly controlling somebody else rules and regulations they were against god's law god's will and uh, that's why we are talking about the galactic codex and implementing here on this planet it's very important so um so anyway so yeah this section regulates the relationship between the forces of light and forces of darkness so the law of balance right so if they don't want to accept the galactic codex well it was nice to meet you good luck and goodbye here they are saying that they'll be taken back to the central sun and they'll be restructured okay so so a new for a new cycle a new soul okay their new evolution just from the very beginning but if they accept they are forgiven and then they can join the um, galactic Con confederation of course so and then we have the law of uh, intervention actually and this is what i was looking at the law of uh, intervention that uh, um, because of the hostage situation here and uh, so everything has to be um, done very carefully right the negotiation tactical approach very important um, the, they were uh, hostages in those underground military bases and even the Pleiadians right they were tortured there as well there's still some death camps uh, in um, China right i don't i don't want to talk talk much about it but people would be surprised what uh, how much tyranny and torture has been going on and we need to end that cycle okay of that nonsense um and so um you know just talking about these kind of things and being educated please educate yourself and then do some inner work so you can meditate or contemplate okay and just start uh putting dots together and free your mind you can free yourself you can you can be free, right? The Statue of Liberty you have in New York. We need to resurrect the energies in New York, okay? And then um, there was the, the Monarch Project or Montauk Project and so on. Again, we need to totally uh, transform these energies, right? You can Google what Montauk Project uh, was or the Monarch or Mockingbird and so on. So those people, they need so much help. They've been traumatized, tyrannized, you know, tortured. So many of these children didn't even survive, right? Because what the uh, Nazis or, you know, that's the infiltrated by the Orion group or, you know, with the, uh, and with the Zetas and, um, you know, the Dracos and so on, they were putting children on drugs and even military young soldiers so they know how the light body operates right how the brain operates and uh, you know because when you're high you know you open your extra sensories and then you have all, all the magic mushrooms and so on so they study the electromagnetic field they study the aura the energy field and then they use the exotic weapons right um they use um uh, the highly advanced technology to desecrate the human dna to desecrate the human aura to totally cut you off from god from source from spirit the holy spirit from what is and that's how you're just a puppet you're the robot right transhumanism depopulation agenda transhumanism has been going on in the united states especially after world war ii project um uh, paperclip you can google that as well and i've been posting those kind of uh, stuff also on my facebook yana kalai or yana sibinska and also those who are subscribed to my um, website i am posting all kinds of things as well uh, you know uh, lately i came across linda good mcgillis uh, Oh my God, that was just so freeing to listening to her and to explaining the 145, I'm sorry, 144,144. 144. So I get, I got new uploads, uploads and upgrades and so on. I mean, the consciousness guys is here, the cosmic consciousness, the solar riches, you know, they're here in this dimension and those who see, you'll see them with that, you know, 
third eye that has been purified, your pineal gland decalcified, you can start, you know, and those cosmic antennas reawakening them so you can tune to those cosmic energies, ascension energies, the energies of the 5D, 6D, 7D, and you can go even higher and higher and higher because the cosmic clock is now turning in the right direction, the organic timeline, organic time, we're heading north, okay, and you can go to 10 dimension, 11 dimension, that's where the infiltration happened, and you can go back to God to source 12D, right? Everything is 12D. Guys, we had the um, 12 tribes of Israel or the, the Zodiac 12 signs, even though we have a 13 as well, right? The 12 strands of DNA, the 12 spheres of tree of life, not the 10. That's the draconian kind of model, right? Uh, with their draconian rulerships and uh, who knows what else. So everything works in 12. 12 times 12 is 144. So it's uh, uh, that's the secret uh, number symbology here. That's how, you know, uh, it creates the platonic solace, the dodecahedron, right? And that's we are uh, resurrecting uh, the other platonic solids and uh, we are building and res uh, the new grid, the 5D grid, right? We are going back to the golden Atlantis, to the Lemuria, okay but we have to transform the energy especially after world war ii that has been happening all this experimentation here here you know united states um, the, um you know the american population what they had to go through our children uh, teenagers military you know just total degradation demoralization that's why i was coming up i'm coming up with my um, yoga Mil yoga project right for the for the military for the warriors uh, because there's so much uh, discipline there spiritual discipline and morals and ethics you know integrity and uh, you're um, you're embodying um, your soul's virtues or heart's virtues right transparency and uh, honesty and uh, innocence and beauty so that's is all coming online so those energies are here it's just we need to drop that density detox right and um, you know chant and pray and meditate be in your heart be in your center and uh, transform transmute invoke that violet flame okay it will help you to decalcify your pineal gland as well so you can liberate yourself and be free and uh, then represent the true real america the american spirit right with the um um constitution of freedom the declaration of independence okay the bill of rights so we are resurrecting all that so and um also what is saying guys that um now the galactics are here and they actually you can call upon them and they will assist you but again raising your frequency vibration and you have to be um you know then able to tune into those energies and uh really you want your healing you want it you really want that that has to be your truth and everything is monitored they have even more highly advanced technology than the dracos so they see your energy they know how much you're speaking your truth or how much you're evolving growing whether you're going forward releasing densities i mean it's they have their super quantum computers but they are using it for healing for this transition uh, for all this resurrection, for bringing peace and harmony to this dimension, to this plane of existence, right? Uh, to this planet that is ascending and humanity is ascending with her as well. So, and um, that's, uh, like I said, Galactic Code is a legal basis for intervention and assistance to all hostages of the dark forces. The forces of light always do the best they can to assist and improve the living conditions of all sentient beings. Even here on Earth, you know, they had this war going on on Mars. So, so many things going on, guys. Um, there was a sex trade going on here from Earth, right, to Mars, Moon. They had all these satellites. That's how they control, manipulate through the 5G towers, right? Or 5G phones. You have to say no to this and connect. Connect with your true spirit here. It's, it, it's in your heart okay very important and um the galactic uh, confederation also has an unalienable and unconditional right to the implementation of the galactic codex right and so what there is a violation 
the military force has to come in, jump in. And so there's almost uh, all, all, um, well, all this evidence, so much of the evidence there, especially the military, right, the military forces, like, oh, this uh, plane, you know, just kind of, um, you know, these with the ETs, I mean, they can go to that zero point, they can cloak themselves, you know, they can jump to another dimension. Oh, what happened? We don't know, right? All this uh, declassified information now coming online through Pentagon and so on. So this needs to be released, but people think it's separated from us. That technology we could have had if that, if you know, the, the galactic, uh, the galactics were accepted back in 1950s. We could have been going to Jupiter, to Pluto, and so on, following the universal law, the law of one. We could have had that kind of technology back then. So that's why, right, the man calendar, the cycle was ending 2012. Now we have 2021, 21, changing of the guards, right? We're, we're flipping everything. We are turning everything right side up, correcting everything. So but we have to be ready. We have to be prepared. There's so much inner work happening, but there is uh, full disclosure now happening, right? New quantum financial system happening. Okay, just tuning into those energies, doing the inner work. You know, here's my project. So I'm still, you know, it's been going on for quite some time. You know, it takes time, you know, to find your, your sponsors or people that can help you. But again, you have to be careful because we're still in the middle of a uh, spiritual war, warfare. So Lord have mercy, but the galactics are here. So call for help. And, uh, you know, they're here to assist us, even though it's very difficult, like, you know, sometimes, right? I mean, I have, but I have so much now confirmations and all these proof and, and, and everything is just like, come on, just end this cycle, right? Of tyranny, of torture, or the sex games in the military. That needs to stop. That was not correct. Okay? That needs to be reconciled. So Kundalini Yoga, you know, you bring your energy up, up, up. So, um... Check out, you can check out my um, uh, project or you can, you know, check, up, uh, check out some of my um, documents and my videos on yanakalai.com forward slash services. And um, what else? The Galactic Codex, um, with the Galactic Codex, you know, the, the, it's a legal basis for the liberation of the occupied planets with the military force, okay? So that's why very uh, important about the disclosure, exposure of the wrongdoings, military, where right? some people do it for school, education, what is being happening there with children. It's horrible. Okay. So, and um, very important that because they're helping us uh, with the removal, they're assisting a removal of the representatives of the dark forces, and we are setting the hostages free. You would be surprised how many people were kept hostage and how poorly they were treated. You know, we all need to be free. We all need to reunite. We all need to be nice to each other. Be nice, be kind, right? Uh, follow, implement the golden rule. The way you want to be treated, then treat others that way. Okay, very simple, not a big deal. And um, yeah, all these infiltrations have been happening for quite some time, especially um, the times of Atlantis. And looks like the humanity did allow all these... Um, uh, horrible things um, to uh, to happen here on this planet, okay? So, anyway, so many wars uh, all over the planet and constant abuse of basic human rights have been proven that humanity is not capable of handling its own situation. So, it's very important so people receive the guardians, you know? So, and they teach them. They are edu need to be educated, re-educated. So, they are guiding them with the next step, with their next step. The confederation will the confederation will assist um, uh, in replacing those. Um, they're replacing those dark ones, um, right? Or they're they're removing them from the high echelon, the high echelon, the pedophile ring, or whatever else, the SRA, the satanic ritual abuse happening there, right? So that's all going to be exposed, or is is exposed, and so. Um, Pretty much the Galactic Codex is will finally become the universal code of ethics throughout the universe. Okay. And we can join the Galactic Society community. That would warm my heart. That would be so beautiful. So what else I didn't talk about? Guys, check my website. I finally uh, downloaded the chakras. Okay. So you can read a little bit more about the chakra system. 
okay and again this i uh, this is like a thing from 2007 2008 i was writing we are 2021 so this is very basic information but you can dive into it who really talks the best about chakra chakra system go on ascension glossary lisa rainey you know chakra system and it she she'll take you to the infinite one okay uh she's genius she's incredible and here you know i have you guys you can download uh, these uh, these guys my documents how to transform negative thoughts into positive thinking set your mind free okay of course uh, embarking on spiritual path yoga ayurveda that's my passion you know how to recover from ptsd through the art of practical spirituality and the science of the spoken word japa mantra meditation right i was already talking about the um um uh, here the beats here okay just uh, whether it's the lord is my shepherd i shall not be want right i do uh, om namah shivaya shiva is my uh is my um, teacher and guide do i have the book on him let me see uh, well, I have Paramsa Yogananda here. You can, you know, check out the autobiography of Yogi. Here's the universal uh, laws, right? The light shall set you free. You guys, there are so many books and inspirations how to meditate. If you want to um, check, check that as well. Okay. Um, let me see. But uh, yeah, just um, this is what works for me. So you're throat chakra can open and you can release all these you know densities and the falseness and all the lies you can free yourself from these addictions and so on you can even go on my website or my youtube channel yana sibinska or waking our truth you know i chant shiva i chant om gam ganapataya namaha ganesh is the healer right so uh, there are so many ways how you can really heal yourself so that was my point or my goal to create these kind of uh, communities uh, you know in unity with ETs uh, and I have the yoga and Ayurveda background Ayurvedic cooking you know that's my passion the path for inner transformation yoga and meditation I still have that project uh, from 2009 that I had for military it's on my drive so somebody's interested I have uh, it's on PowerPoint presentation PowerPoint presentation I have for the universal um, laws and also for yoga philosophy so I have um, lots of stuff to share with if I find out how to make um, webinars, seminars through my phone um, because I still don't have a computer. I was using somebody else's else computer. Then that would be uh, for me to also way to move forward, um, like uh, explaining my projects, going deeper into details and so on. I would really love to do that. So we'll see how everything goes, how everything transpires. So my beloveds have a good day beautiful day take a very good care of yourself very important the centering going deep within loving yourself taking care of yourself forgiving yourself you know be in that compassionate um energy of your sacred heart many blessings and namaste i'll talk to you later bye bye